Hi, I'm Dave from Functional Rustic and this week's tutorial from Functional Rustic is going to be how to change a chainsaw chain. What you're going to need is a chainsaw, a tool that came from your with your chainsaw, and a new chain. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're wearing gloves. Set your chain brake so that the thing doesn't move around on you. And then you're going to want to start righty tighty lefty loosey and counterclockwise to start the bar nuts. Come off. All right, so now most likely your bar is going to want to come off, set your motor aside, now you have your bar, take your chain off, grab your new chain, make sure When you put the chain on, it's very important to make sure that the part that looks kind of like a triangle here, cutting edge, is pointing towards the end of the bar going this way, because this is the direction your chainsaw runs. Well, let me back up because I was too close. Here, show the direction of the chainsaw again, please. So it's going to face the end of the chainsaw. The chainsaw runs around the end and comes back. So you gotta take your bar, make sure your links go into track. If you look on the side of the bar, there's a track in the middle. And when you set them in, they should just go right in. Turn your saw back on its side. And you're going to want to make sure that all of the chain links engage the sprocket. Where is the sprocket? The sprocket's right there. So you may notice that it might not line up the way that you want it to. So you got play around with it a little bit. Now what you're looking at under here, this part here needs to be lined up with this hole. That hole, that hole needs to be lined up with this. So you go and there's a set screw and then you turn it counterclockwise and you'll see that this thing, the little post is moving backwards, it'll also move forward, which I'll show you what the purpose of that is in a moment. It's also a good idea to try and clean some of the junk out of your saw. You can see stuff is building up in there. Now, if you
the screw you were talking about earlier. Yep. And right now, I'm moving it back. I turn it counterclockwise to the left. What does that do? It moves the post back so that you can still line up your post with the bar. Do you need me to hold it? No. Sometimes it can be difficult to get aligned. Okay, so now you can see that on the post, that means the bar is lined up. You can see that your links down below are set into the sprocket wheel, which is right there. So now you're going to want to take your tool and turn your screw to the right. And this is going to tighten your chain by moving the bar forward. Okay, so once you have everything lined up like that, make sure as much of your chain as you can is in the little groove on the side. It's running around the sprocket down there. I have to hold it in place like this, otherwise the bar is going to fall off and I'm going to have to start all over again. And so now by turning that... The bar is going that way, moving, thus causing yeah. tension on yeah. the chain. So right now, you have a fair amount of tension on the chain. It should happen, this would be good for putting your cover back on. And then after that, you're going to have to tighten the chain a little bit more so that it has a proper amount of tension. And if it's too loose, then the chain will fall off, and if it's too tight, then the chain will have difficulty moving and cutting? Yes. If your chain is too tight, what might happen is that your saw might start smoking. That's not good. Fun story. We found out about the... It smokes when it's uh, not properly on there because we were cutting wood last year and it got smoky enough that the neighbor came by to see if we were having a bonfire and taught us some things about saws. Lesson learned. That's what functional rustic is all about. 
So you're just tightening. Okay, so you wanna have on have them on there enough so that they're kind of holding in place, but still loose enough that you can move your bar. So you're gonna want to turn clockwise a little bit and go over here and pull on your chain. Might need to be a little bit tighter. You want your teeth on the bottom, the sprocket teeth, to be still somewhat engaged with the bar so that way you pull it, it should snap back in place like that. Okay, so this should be in good shape for starting a saw job. You can use the same tensioning screw if your chain starts getting loose and you'll notice that your chain may start to sag a little bit or it's hanging off of the bar a little bit all you need to do is tighten it a little bit forward and then check your chain see if it comes back into place so what you want to do once you have a proper tension is to tighten your bar nuts the bar nuts are those that you're tightening right yep. now okay and then release your chain brake Step over there if you're going to start it. <coughs> Thank you. And then, you should be able to move your saw chain by hand. Hence the gloves. And if you can move it by hand, you've done good. And that's pretty much how you change a chainsaw chain. Thank you, Dave, for this week's DIY tutorial from Functional Rustic. If you want to submit your own DIY tutorial, check out FunctionalRustic.com and email Sarah at contact at FunctionalRustic.com. Until then, subscribe to Functional Rustic on YouTube for every week to see a new DIY tutorial. See all that Functional Rustic has to offer at FunctionalRustic.com.